While heading toward the carbon neutral society, petroleum is still an indispensable resource in our daily lives. It is refined into gasoline, naphtha, diesel oil, fuel oil, and other products in various applications. Gasoline, diesel oil, and other products play important roles as fuel of transportation. Also, naphtha is used for manufacturing plastics or daily necessities, such as clothing, stationery, and cosmetics. Fuel oil is used in the field of agriculture and fisheries. Currently, petroleum accounts for approximately 40% of Japan's primary energy supply. Our lives and society move thanks to the stable supply of petroleum. However, here in Japan, we depend almost entirely on petroleum from abroad, and there are more serious risks when supply disruptions occur. Japan stockpiles petroleum in case of a supply disruption. Although we strive for a carbon neutral society, Petroleum is still essential for sustaining our lives. Let's consider petroleum stockpiling for securing the future of Japan. Petroleum is an energy indispensable for maintaining everyday lives and social activities. On average, Japan's petroleum imports amount to 3.4 million barrels per day. This is equivalent to 540 million liters, or 2.7 million 200 liter drum cans. This means that each Japanese person uses 4 liters of petroleum per day. Moreover, Japan imports almost all the crude oil used in the country, and 90% of all imports come from the Middle East. However, there have been situations when the stable supply of petroleum was threatened, such as the oil crisis in 1970s caused by the Middle East War. This affected the economic prosperity back then and highlighted the importance of a stable energy supply. In response to this, in 1972, private companies stockpiling started. In 1978, the Japanese government commenced stockpiling and subsequently constructed 10 national petroleum stockpiling bases in Japan. They were intended to supply stockpile petroleum in the event of a supply disruption from overseas. National petroleum stockpiling is referred to as the last resort. That's because, at the time of disaster, when infrastructure has been destroyed, petroleum is the most maneuverable alternative energy resource. The Great East Japan earthquake occurred in 2011. In disaster-struck areas, there was much demand for petroleum products, such as gasoline and diesel oil as fuel for automobiles or generators, and kerosene for heating. Following this, the petroleum stockpiling system was revised and came to be used when domestic disasters occur. During the Gulf War of 1991, when Hurricane Katrina struck in 2005, and during the Libyan crisis and Great East Japan earthquake of 2011, some measures were implemented based on the Oil Stockpiling Act. Since then, occasionally, there have been several events that threatened a stable supply of petroleum. Petroleum stockpiling continues to be important for ensuring a stable petroleum supply for Japan. Japan has three categories for petroleum stockpiling, the national stockpiling, the private sector stockpiling by private oil companies, and joint stockpiling with oil producing countries. National stockpiling is conducted under two schemes, storing of oil in national stockpiling bases and in tanks leased from private companies. The current amount of petroleum stockpile is kept at a certain degree in accordance with the target specified by the government.
There are 10 national stockpiling bases in Japan. These employ four systems regarding the characteristics of each location. The ground tank. The underground tank. The underground rock cavern tank. And the floating tank. Now, let's take a look at each system. A ground tank is a cylindrical tank with a diameter of approximately 80 meters. It is enough to house a passenger airplane and can stockpile approximately 630,000 barrels. Since it is a versatile piece of storage facility, the ground tank has been adopted at most of the National Petroleum stockpiling bases. Tomokomai Tobu Base in Hokkaido, combined with the adjacent private sector base, is one of the world's largest stockpiling bases. The tank is equipped with a baffle plate to avoid tilt of the floating roof caused by the weight of snow. Completed in 1985, Mutsu Ogawara Base was Japan's first national petroleum stockpiling base and is located on the Shimokita Peninsula within Aomori Prefecture. As it is an area of heavy snowfall, the tank roofs are equipped with snow melting features and painted to blend in with the local landscape. Hukui Base was completed in 1986 and was the first stockpiling base on the Sea of Japan coast. Resilient coating is applied to the tank to ensure that they can withstand salt damage caused by sea spray whipped up by rough winter weather. Shibushi Base, which is located within Nichinan Kaigan Quasi National Park in Kagoshima Prefecture, was designed not to impair the local landscape. Moreover, an emergency release system is in place to enable tankers to safely evacuate offshore in the event of a tsunami. The underground tank system consists of tanks mostly buried underground, such that there is a lower risk of petroleum leakage or above-ground dispersion. The tanks are also highly resistant to earthquakes. Compared to the ground tank, the distance between tanks can be shortened making it possible for more effective use of the site land. Akita Base on the Oga Peninsula within Akita Prefecture houses 12 underground tanks of very large scale for world standards. There are also four ground tanks. Each underground tank has approximately 1.9 million barrels capacity, which is three times larger than that of a ground tank. In the underground rock cavern tank system, an underground rock cavern is excavated and used to store petroleum by leveraging groundwater pressure. Its feature is that it lowers risks of leaking and spreading of oil and is resistant to natural disasters such as earthquakes and lightning. Also, with minimum use of land, it excels in effective land utilization, environmental preservation, safety, and economic efficiency. This is Kuji Base in Iwate Prefecture. Although the base has a limited number of ground facilities, it houses 10 underground tunnel-shaped caverns, each with a width of 18 meters, height of 22 meters, and length of 540 meters. While ground facilities were destroyed by the Great East Japan Earthquake, the underground rock caverns remained intact, demonstrating their outstanding safety as a storage method. Kikuma Base is located on the coast of the Setouchi Inland Sea in Ehime Prefecture. As it is adjacent to a private sector refinery, it utilizes those facilities to efficiently receive and release petroleum. Kushikino Base, located by the East China Sea in Kagoshima Prefecture, houses 10 underground rock caverns, each 550 meters in length. The capacity is approximately 11 million barrels. In the floating tank, we can save necessary land by floating massive crude oil storage vessels with hundreds of meters in length offshore. The floating tanks have a double hull structure to avoid petroleum from leaking or spreading over the ocean. Shirashima Base is located offshore of Kitakyushu City in Fukuoka Prefecture. 
The base is located by uninhabited islands and it takes about 40 minutes by ship. There are eight floating tanks, each with a capacity of approximately 4.4 million barrels. Kamigoto Base is located in the Goto Islands in Nagasaki Prefecture. There are five storage vessels, each with a capacity of approximately 5.5 million barrels. These have the largest capacity in the world, and they undergo inspections at a shipyard every five years. The total capacity of these 10 stockpiling bases is approximately 252 million barrels. The National Petroleum Stockpile is intended to be used when a supply disruption or disaster occurs in Japan. Stockpile release is executed in response to instructions by the Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry. After released, crude oil is processed at refineries for various applications in our everyday lives. There is no knowing when supply disruptions may occur or when an urgent demand for petroleum may arise due to a disaster. The stockpiling bases continuously implement various emergency drills in preparation for such events. Specifically, during our emergency release drills, staff at the base trains to promptly conduct releases using actual equipment, as would be the case during a real emergency situation. Besides our meticulous and strict attention to the proper operations of the bases, we also implement thorough safety and emergency measures. We have high standards in place to protect against earthquakes and fires. We have oil fences to prepare for fire or oil spills. There are also various vehicles like large water tower fire trucks, Moreover, there are permanently stationed, well-trained staff. Centralized management is being conducted in the central control room. We monitor and control operating status by various measuring equipment and sensors, and staff also supervise visually. Our constant monitoring system allows for swift incident detection and handling. We consistently conduct emergency drills. We are committed to improving incident preparedness, not only through drills on our bases, but also through joint efforts with the national government and local municipalities. We work to protect clean water, air, and green spaces. We have removal facilities to avoid the spread of harmful gases and contaminated water out of bases. In addition to having constructed bases in consideration of the surrounding natural landscape, we are also working toward greenifying the bases themselves. The effectiveness of petroleum stockpiling is predicated on the cooperation with local communities. We maintain close communication with relevant organizations within each locality. Petroleum is the driving force that keeps our lives and economy in motion. Therefore, securing a stable supply of petroleum is extremely important for Japan. Its importance is all the more evident because nobody can foresee international political instability or the occurrence of natural disasters. We remain committed to petroleum stockpiling to protect the lives of everyone in the country.